Hey there everyone, welcome to Technisha. If you want to collect and organize information, let it be big or small, Google Forms is a great way to do it. In this video, I will give you a quick tutorial on how to get started with Google Forms. So go to your browser and type in the omnibar forms.google.com. Once in this page, there are some sample templates given by Google. Uh, you know, like for contact information, RSVP, event registration, uh, maybe a blank quiz, course evaluation, etc. Today we'll start with the blank form just to see all the options that are available in making a Google form. So let's click on the blank button. So this page opens up, which gives an untitled form. So I'm going to name it as uh, first first form let's just say for for information you have multiple options in the type of questions you want to select so there is a multiple choice then there's a short answer paragraph check boxes and drop down let's see each option one by one so i'm just going to go for the short answer first and this question is going to be for the name then i'm going to make it a required field now let's say i want to add another question i'm going to add question of male or female and instead of multiple choice i'm going to give a drop down option with the option one going to be male in the option two as female and the third option we can say prefer not to say then let's say I want to add another field can be address and here I'll make it a paragraph type of answer because it's going to be a longer answer text And then let me add another one with multiple choice as, uh, let's say, interest. Or another option which the user can type in. So we made a form here which is going to collect the information from people. It's going to ask for the name, that they are male or a female. And I'm going to make all these as required. This will ensure that all the answers or the fields you require are entered before submission. Address, again I would make required and interest to as required. And once you are done and happy with the form, let's say you want to change the look of it. You can select the theme. Uh, I'm just going to select blue. If you want, you can also choose an image either from uh, Google's provided libraries or your own images I'm just going to say let's say you select one option say okay and once you're happy with the theme and the colors the form is done you can take a preview look of it by clicking on the preview tab in the top right corner and this is how the user will be able to see and submit the information Let's go back to the design board. Since you are the administrator for this form, you'll also be able to see the responses of people and you'll also have an option of keeping the form open up till a particular time. So let's say you want to collect the responses only for two days or three days. After that, you can come here and select this option, which will ensure that any other responses which you are getting after the time period will not be accepted. And out here it shows if you want to create a spreadsheet for the responses. Option will be create a new spreadsheet or select an existing spreadsheet. I'm going to select create a new spreadsheet and let it be called as the same name as the form and say create. So in the Google Drive, a spreadsheet with this name is going to be created where the responses are going to be collated. Here you will see the timestamp that is when the user uh, enters uh, information and then the information they enter. 
So now let's go back to the form. Let's say you are done with the form, you are happy with it. Now you can share this with the people you want with the help of a link. You can choose to use the option send. And this will give you various options how you can send it to either by creating a link. Uh, let's say shorten the URL. Or you want to email a particular people. Let's say you create a link. Copy it. And now you can provide this link to the specific groups so that now they can enter the responses in this form. So once you send this link to your targeted group, they will see a form which is like this, either on the phone or on a tablet or on a computer. And since all the questions we've given as required, the person needs to answer or fill all these fields before submitting the form. So once they come here, they'll type in a name. I'm just going to put a name of, let's say, Andrew. Choose the option, mail. Address I'm going to choose as Tempe, Arizona. The fourth question is interest. They can choose one of them. Let's say he chooses sports and say submit. Since you are the administrator, when you are checking at the form, you see that one response has been given. And you will be able to see the responses as a summary or an individual. But an easier way to see it is in your spreadsheet. Now with the timestamp, with the details is available in one sheet. Google Form is a great tool to collect information from a group of people. I hope that this video was of use to you. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time, ciao.